And then came this. On the occasion of uh, 90 years of, of uh, diplomatic relations between Canada and China, uh, of, uh, Canada and Japan, the tremendous friendship uh, that we celebrate every day between Canada and China. Thank you, Shinzo. Okay, yeah, that's the Prime Minister of Japan, not China. You know, Japan and China, they don't much love each other. Lots of wars, lots of bad blood both ways. Nuclear threats from China against Japan, from North Korea against Japan. North Korea is China's stalking horse against Japan. And the Japanese haven't always been saints either. Google the rape of Nanking if you want to learn some history. But imagine meeting the Japanese prime minister and calling him Chinese. Not once, but twice. Why? Is it that all Asian people look alike to you? That's what they'd say about it if it were a conservative prime minister who made that gaffe. I think it's more likely that Trudeau just doesn't have a clue about anything. I've never heard him mention Japan ever about anything. I think he just doesn't care. I mean, Japan, it might as well have been Djibouti or Burundi or some other place for all Trudeau knows. I, I think he knows nothing about it. Do you remember when McLean's magazine asked him what his favorite Baltic country was? And he said, that's not a thing. Even his weirdness. I mean, the prime minister of Japan has not, in fact, visited Ottawa twice. Is, is Trudeau, it was, was he drunk? Now, I'm sorry to ask, but we know that Trudeau spends thousands of dollars on every flight on alcohol. I presume he drinks it. Remember this meeting in Chicago? Look, he's so drunk, he's literally wobbling on his feet. Thank you so much. Was he drunk when he met the PM of Japan, or was he high? I know you think I'm being mean, but we know he has huge liquor bo bills, and we know that he boasted about smoking marijuana since becoming a parliamentarian. Is that what was happening there? Um, the CBC went into full damage control mode, saying that China was on the top of his mind. Can you imagine saying that? That he said that only because he was so focused on the policy problems presented by China. Yeah, sure he did. Have you ever even heard Trudeau mention those policy problems with China ever? You know, China still holds two Canadians hostage over there. Uh, they have since Christmas. You know China just banned Canadian canola, right? You know this, right? I don't think Trudeau knows. But then last night, the icing on the cake of a busy weekend. The Simpsons, you know, that cartoon that's become painfully woke and liberal with Lisa Simpson as a social justice warrior. Normally, they would love Justin Trudeau. They'd invite him to be his own voice for the cartoon. They've done that with many celebrities and politicians before. Well, they had Justin Trudeau on last night. For some reason, they didn't get Trudeau to do his own voice. I think it's because they mocked him mercilessly. You know, this old photo, right? This stunt. This party trick, this gimmick uh, that used to delight journalists like Paul Wells. Well, watch this clip. Mm. Mr. Trudeau? Yes, Lisa? Oh, I am really, really sorry about what our president called you. I don't think about it. I've moved on. Weak. He called me weak. Absolutely. Let me ask you, does this look weak? Seriously? Wow, that is impressive. Uh, watch your tie. So listen, if I could just ask you one question about the SNC-Lavalin scandal. Yeah, I'm not going to say that's really funny. I don't think The Simpsons are that funny anymore, but that's ridicule. That's international ridicule. And right on cue, the CBC... They said that The Simpsons is racist or something. I think that's the first time they ever did a political analysis of The Simpsons ever. Uh, they're just trying to support their boyfriend. Still, they have to. Paul Wells won't. So, yeah. Falling out of love. It is tough. But better now for the media party to fall in love with Trudeau now, six months before the next election, than six months after it. I wouldn't have said this before. I haven't said this before. I don't want to get my hopes up. I am a pessimist, I'm a skeptic, but I actually think Justin Trudeau will lose the next election. If not outright come in second place, I think he will certainly lose his majority. 
But these past three days, these self-inflicted wounds that no media other than the most obsequious bought and paid for CBC would mop up for him, I think he's going to have a terrible six months. I think he's going to lose. What do you think? That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest, and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.